The Root Command Center is the new home for root placement and editing configuration. It can be launched from the Tools menu or more commonly via the R keyboard shortcut. The controls split into five sections. At the top, we have options for push and shove configuration and on screen visuals. Then we have placement and editing specific options and root styling overrides at the bottom. Most commands have keyboard shortcuts and you can set or change the accelerators in the keyboard mapping dialog form. Perhaps the most important is whether to place routes in push mode or the more traditional FMR mode. Push mode will allow the routes being placed to move other tracks out of the way and if via pushing is enabled then vias can also be nudged to make more room. All pushes will be subject to the current design rules. Push mode also affects route editing, allowing the track being dragged to push other tracks and vias as you edit. This is a great way to tidy routes and maximise space on the layout. If you want to hug rather than push other tracks, just hit Shift and P and to toggle push mode off. Visual DRC provides a really helpful way to see where the design rules will allow you to place or move your route. They do this with a shadow expansion of the objects in the viewport area near the mouse by their design rule clearances. These options allow you to toggle the viewport on and off and also control its size. You can restrict the visuals to only immovable objects, which can be useful in push mode where tracks and fires are generally no longer immovable. As we've seen, Root placement works either in push mode or traditional FMR mode, according to the Shift P toggle. By default, click to complete is also enabled. This provides a shadow track to the nearest route destination, which you can complete by pressing the Enter key. The curved cornering option allows you to toggle between 45 degree mitered corners and curved corners during route placement. You can turn DRC awareness off completely when editing via the Shift A shortcut. This allows the movement of tracks over and through any other object and is necessary sometimes if your design rules prevent a legal DRC aware edit. When DRC aware editing is off, the viewport border will indicate if a violation exists anywhere on the route, while segments inside the viewport will highlight if the route being edited makes a legal contact. The root style section of the dialog will be disabled unless you launch the dialog when you are in the middle of actually placing a root. These options are very self-explanatory and are designed as an override to allow you to change routing style on the fly. Just remember, when you place a root, your track and neck styles initialize from the net class, and so you want to set your default trace thicknesses there. As you become more familiar with the shortcuts, many of the configuration options can be toggled directly from the shortcut commands. Note that the status bar tells you what routing mode you are in at any time, and in particular, remember that Shift P will switch you between routing modes. You'll still need to launch the Root Command Center via the R button on your keyboard while placing routes if you want to change their style, but the main placement and editing modes can all be toggled directly from their keyboard accelerators.